so this film has been in the making for about two years. For me, this, this whole project was not even so much about highlighting an important cause and important group of people, but I really wanted to use the, the Wounded Warriors as an example for others to find inspiration to stand up for what they believe in. The first night we were up until like one, two in the morning filming them because they left at midnight. We got up the next morning at four uh, and, and followed them all day, got to bed. We like napped midway throughout the day and it was just like a constant go, go, go for, for like two days straight. It was intense. One of the biggest challenges in fitting this entire incredible thing into three minutes is that you have a lot of points to hit and sometimes that causes you to gloss over certain things that are very important. Like I wasn't really able to illustrate the gravity of what the Wounded Warriors are doing. So we're at the finish of the second leg, so we're about halfway through. Now we have the overnight stretch and tomorrow is the big day. They're walking 175 kilometers, which is about 110 miles. And just for a bit of context, an average NASA space mission takes place about 200 kilometers above the Earth. So they were just like 25 kilometers shy of that, which is insane. Uh, and also another really important thing they were doing, they did 22 push-ups every hour on the hour, and that represents the 22 servicemen and women who uh, pass away from suicide every day in the States. One of the main things that I learned from this experience talking to the guys about mental health was that you're, you're never really alone. Um, and you hear that all the time, but it's true. And I saw it in action. It was really special to see that community and that network and to know that it, there is always someone out there who wants to help. The difficult thing about filming the Warriors that first year is they're go, go, go all day, all night. So in order to really capture that story, you can't miss a beat, but at the same time, you can't do what they're doing. Like you need to get some sleep, you need to take a rest. It was that constant back and forth, finding them, driving up ahead, getting to the location, setting up, getting the shot, and doing that for like such a long period of time. It was, it was a really intense shoot. When they would like walk by me when I, when I was filming, they would, you know, give me a pack of Skittles or something. And it was a bit of a challenge for me because I was trying to be like a fly on the wall. I didn't really want to be acknowledged. But at the same time, it was really nice to kind of feel a part and, um, and, and really be, you know, in that experience with them.